What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be one that has been really, really, really requested from you guys. And I just recently decided that I'm going to sit down and film this video today. And that's for one reason. I just recently hit 300,000 subscribers on my channel. Oh my freaking God. We are not even going to get into it. I'm going to have a video all about that. I have a very special way that I want to thank you guys. And when I think about it, I kind of get emotional. So definitely not ready for that just yet. But I know a lot of you guys have been requesting a video on how I grew my YouTube channel, how to make it big on YouTube, how to be a beauty guru. All the time you guys ask me through messages, through letters on my PO box, through emails, on Instagram, on Facebook, how do you grow your channel to be a successful one? So I do have a video on it, but I believe that that video is like maybe two years old. So I do want to come out with another one, but I figured that for this video, I wanted to do something kind of a little bit different. And since everybody and their mama is loving hack videos right now, I want to tell you guys 10 YouTube hacks that you can do right now to make your channel a little bit more successful. Every single one of these that I'm going to let you guys know about today, I have done, I have implemented on my channel and I have seen a huge impact. So instead of rambling and getting into it and blah, 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 Lego, we just gonna get started. All right, so hack number one is that you definitely want to constantly be checking on your most popular videos, which you can find in the analytics section of your main channel page. Now these are the videos that are the ones that got the most views, the ones that bring in the most money on a monthly basis, and basically your overall most successful video. So for me, I noticed that a lot of my skincare videos are very popular, my teeth whitening videos are popular, my try on hauls are popular. So what I like to do is to come out with videos that are not exactly the same, but I kind of want to learn what my audience likes and I put out more videos that are very similar. So stay in touch with the analytics page, always check your most popular videos and just kind of do a little bit of research and homework on your own channel and see what your audience is liking. Hack number two, enable all ads. I don't know why some people don't do this because if you do not enable ads on your videos, you're not going to make any money at all. So you want to make sure to monetize every single one of your videos. Now you can pick if you just want a pre-roll, basically kind of like advertisement or commercial to play before. And if you just want like banners on the side or underneath your video, or if you actually prefer to have mid roll ads and after roll ads, which basically means it's gonna be kind of like a little 10 to 20 second commercial in between your video and then after your video as well. I do have that enabled. It is a little bit annoying to your viewers that are watching, but it is a way for you to get more ads on your channel. And for many of you that are looking to make this a full-time job like myself, that is something that is extremely helpful. So it's a personal decision if you want to have commercials or ads just in the beginning on the sides of your video, or if you don't mind having pre-roll ads, mid-roll ads, and post-roll ads all wrapped up into one video. Hack number three has to do with tags. You want to rape that tag box. And when I say that, what I mean by that is tag, tag, tag until you can't tag anymore. Basically what I like to do is fill out the entire box and press save. And if it says, okay, good to go. I'm like, nope, gotta go back and add some more tags. And I like to do it up until the point where it says too many tags, not able to save. And then from there, I kind of do a little bit of a process of elimination. You want to put as many tags as possible because that's what's going to help your video show up when people actually search. So tag, tag, tag. And when you think you're done tagging, tag, more. So my next hack is definitely using Famebit and Magic Links. Side note, this video is not sponsored at all. I do not work directly with these companies at all. I'm just a user. I logged in, I made my own account, and I use them for my own personal use. So basically, I'll start with Famebit. Basically what Famebit is, it's kind of like newspaper ads for companies that want to work with content creators. So what they'll do is they'll post a little picture up and the compensation of what they're willing to offer and a little description of what they want, whether it's product placement or an exclusive video and if you're interested in what you see you can actually press apply now send all your information over and they will contact you back directly and then you can work out your deal from there so that's an extra way to get some extra cash in your pocket I definitely feel that it's a great idea for those of you that do not want to be a sellout I will say that once you hit maybe around 100,000 subscribers, you do get contacted by a lot of different companies. And I personally maybe respond back to 10% of them. Famebit is completely different because I am applying to different companies that I want to try their products and I actually genuinely have an interest in. So it's a completely different ball game and I love Famebit. And then with Magic Links, what it is, is linking off products that you're showing in your video. So for example, 
If you're showing something that you bought at Sephora, let me pick something out of my head. Let's say that we're showing the Kat Von D Contour Shade and Light Palette, okay? Say that you mentioned it in your video, you raved about it, you went on and on, and 10 people went and bought that palette because you mentioned it. Now obviously Sephora is not going to give you any commission if you just link Sephora's link right there in the little description box. But what you can do is take that link directly from Sephora, plug it into your Magic Links account, press generate code, take that code, put that into your description box, and then for anyone that clicks and purchases that product, you will get commission. And I'm telling you guys, I do this for almost every single product that I mention on my monthly favorites, on different makeup tutorials, anytime that I show a product and I don't already have an affiliate code, this is kind of a way that you can have an affiliate code with any product that you show. And you might say, well, what if I show something really random like a TV or, I don't know, just something like a sock. You can go on Amazon or eBay and find that exact thing. Go ahead, put it through Magic Links, and right there you just made your own affiliate code that you will be getting commission for anybody that clicks through and buys from it. So honestly, it's a no-brainer. It's so simple, it's easy. I'm horrible with technology. If I can do this, so can you. Next up is a hack that I want every single one of you guys to know once you start making money from YouTube. Now I'm not 100% sure, but from what I remember when I first started, I think that YouTube holds your money every single month until you hit $100. And then from there, they will go ahead and release every time you hit 100 or above. Now, YouTube does not take any tax money out and nobody told me this. So the first time that I went into YouTube full time and I had to do my taxes at the end of the year, I owed over $10,000 back because YouTube did not take the tax out of the money that I was getting and I had to come up with $10,000 to pay back in taxes. So what I like to do now is every single time that I get my YouTube check, a commission check, um, whether I'm working with a company and I have an outright compensation deal with them, whatever money that I make from YouTube, automatically I take 20% of it and put it to the side and know that at the end of the year, that has to go back for taxes. Please, you guys, I don't know why there's no option for YouTube to take your money out to go ahead and pay your taxes back like if you, a normal job, but that came as such a shock for me my first year because I really was not prepared. And I could do a whole video on finances with YouTube and how you should save receipts and all the things that you're able to write off. But in a nutshell, whatever you get from YouTube, always take 20% of it, put it to the side, because you will be paying that back at the end of the year. And if you're not prepared, it's going to be a struggle. Next tip is pretty simple, and that's just planning out your videos. Now, if you think about it, if people are sitting down and taking the time to view your video, they really wanna make sure that you're educated on what you're talking about. I very rarely just turn my camera on and just start talking unless I'm over on my vlog channel. But if I'm going to be doing a video about skincare or about new products that hit the market, I always like to do my research. I like to know prices, I like to know statistics, I like to know where you can buy them, I like to know if they're on sale ever. Do your homework because your audience will definitely appreciate that. Next tip is whiten your teeth before you film your videos. I have brought this up in my videos a couple of times and I hate to, but I try to be so real with you guys. If you go back to like my first one, one or two years here on YouTube, I never used to whiten my teeth at all and my smile looked completely different. I think that teeth really pop on a video and I know, I don't know if it's good, but I'm just being honest with you guys. When I talk to people, I always notice teeth and when I watch videos, I also always notice teeth. So I always like to take the little bit of extra time the night before to whiten my teeth. I only use Smile Brilliant. I feel like there are so many different companies out there that try to offer these products that in all honesty, don't work. And I know back in the day it was a little bit of a controversy because a lot of people want to know what brand I'm talking about that's very big on YouTube that really does not work. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm not here to bash any companies. What I will do is tell you what works for me and that is Smile Brilliant. I have an entire video on it. I hate to link to it because it does have my ex-husband in the video as a model, but you know what, that video has helped out so, so many people, so I'm going to post that video down below. And in short, again, in a nutshell, whiten your teeth. Next up is make tea with honey and water. 
Why did I just mention water? Obviously, all tea has water. Make tea with honey every single time that you're going to film a video. If you are anything like me, my videos are so rambly and a lot of the time my throat will get extremely dry and I'm one of those people that tend to lose my voice when I kind of overexert it. Many times I will sit down and film three, three to four videos in one sitting and by the time I'm like halfway through the second video, starting the third video, my voice will start to get hoarse and it's very frustrating when I'm trying to get my words out. So I do like to have a nice hot cup of tea with lots Lots and lots of honey to coat my throat right before I film my videos. I feel like it's a great pointer and everybody should do it. Next up, use your phone to make your thumbnails on your videos. It is so, so important to have a good thumbnail for your video. That's basically the little picture that's the preview before people click on your video. There are so many amazing videos that I've watched that have crappy thumbnails that most likely I feel are not getting the recognition that I feel like they can get if you take the extra one or two minutes to really edit your thumbnail. And if you're like me and you suck at computers, you're bad with technology, you're bad with electronics, you can do it entirely off of your phone. And I am going to show you guys a quick little demo. Basically what I like to do is take my good quality pictures with my DSLR, the same one that I film with. Then I go ahead and send that over to my email so I can open it up in my phone. Then I open up Pixta which is a free app. No, it is not sponsored. No, the company has no idea who I am. I go ahead and I open that app so I can have the right ratio, which I believe is 16 to nine. So then I put my picture right in there. I edit it around. I save that to the gallery and then I open it up into another app. That app is called Shop Text and it's another free app and that's where I add whatever text. I like to add borders. You definitely want your thumbnail to stand out. Make it bright, make it pretty. Just make it stand out because it definitely goes a long way for the views that your video will get. After I go ahead and edit it, I send it right back through email over to my phone and upload it into my video. And it's one, two, three. It's very easy, very basic for somebody like me and it makes a huge impact. And very last but not least, my last tip for you guys is to use social media. I, okay, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite with this because I don't have a Snapchat and I know that you guys tell me all the time, why don't you have a Snapchat? The honest reason for that is because I have a vlog channel and I feel like if I have a Snapchat, I'm gonna be snapping instead of vlogging and I really don't want to take away from my vlog channel because I love my vlog family. My vlog channel is like my baby. I'm obsessed with it. And I don't know, I feel like anything that I would show on Snapchat, I already have over on my vlog channel. But if you don't have a vlog channel, definitely open up a Snapchat, open up an Instagram, open up a Facebook, open up a Twitter, and put out when your videos come out. You wanna either put the thumbnail out, put a little teaser, you can put a little Instagram video. Social media is the new age of living. Social media is advertising, social media is everything. You definitely wanna take advantage of it. As you guys can see, every single time that I upload a video, I always take my thumbnail, I put it on Instagram, and I put a link so people can know that it's up and directly watch it from there. All right guys, so those are all the little YouTube tricks, tips. I'm trying to mix words, not making sense. Those are all the little YouTube tips and tricks and hacks that I have to share with you guys today. I hope that you did pick up a little something. I completely understand that it's difficult to do YouTube as a full-time job just because you really don't have a mentor. And a lot of times girls will figure out how to make their channel big and kind of be stingy with it and not want to share. I honestly have no problem at all giving you guys my tips and tricks. I'm not in competition with anyone. I feel like we're all doing this together and I understand how frustrating it could be to not get the answer to these things. You can't directly pick up the phone and call YouTube. Speaking of, we tried doing that on my vlog channel the other day. Definitely go watch that video because that was hilarious. But yeah, I have no problem sharing with you guys because I know a lot of you are very passionate about YouTube as well and do aspire to make it a full-time job as well. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave me a request down below what you would like to see next. Definitely subscribe over to my vlog channel and I will see you guys all soon. Mwah. I love you all so much. Thank you all 300,000 of you guys. I love every single one of you and I do have a very special way that I will be thanking you very soon. Mwah, 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 mwah. Bye.